as our plane descends into Dresden, a new landmark hides beneath the clouds. After about 15-minute drive from the airport, a semiconductor factory comes into view. Behind us is the TSMC fab in Dresden, and it's likely soon to enter the main structural construction phase. Equipment will also move in during the second half of 2026. The TSMC Dresden Fab is set to begin producing chips in 2027. It is also one of Europe's largest semiconductor investments. At a welcome center nearby, it recently hosted a civilian consultation hour to directly address locals' questions about the progress, water and energy management. To find out more about this project and its implications for the region, we talked to Dresden Mayor Dirk Hilbert. There has been this increasing cooperation between Taiwan, the semiconductor companies in Dresden. Can you take us a look behind the curtain? Here in our region, the so-called Silicon Saxony, also a very, very strong um, semiconductor cluster. And in the past, we had already a collaboration with um, Taiwan in the zero years, um, with Anania, with Windbond, uh, from Kimonda um, side. And then, it goes a little bit um, down, but now, with the investment of TSMC, um, the first um, site in Europe, um, we get a real push um, in this work of collaboration between two countries who are strong in the semiconductor business, especially uh, Taiwan with uh, TSMC, with the world's biggest company. Have people been excited to hear about these developments and are people looking forward to what has come or is there a little bit of pushback from citizens? Of course, it, um, the people here are um, uh, well connected with this industry over um, more than 50 years. Um, he was here in Dresden was um, the East German uh, center for semiconductor production. Then with the reunification, it struggled. Um, and then um, uh, our government decided um, to handle over um, uh, the, the core um, industry in the, um, on our times and attract new investors. And so it's start to come back with inv investments from Siemens at this time, later from AMD. But nowadays, just f uh, companies like Invenian or uh, Global Foundries, later Bosch um, invest here. And now with TSMC, we get a huge push for the future. So in a few different time spans, both short term, maybe 10 years, because these projects need time, and then 20 years, 30 years, how are people talking about the collaboration between Taiwan and Dresden? I think it will, uh, they will um, uh, explain a very, very um, strong relationship between um, uh, both regions um, uh, because uh, the people, um, and this was in all our very early beginning um, meetings, thinking in the, in the same direction, uh, is the same feeling, very focused, not so marketing guys, but very, very focused on the, on the topics, on the technology development. I think it will be a successful friendship. So we've been here for a few days talking to people, uh, meeting some of the people involved on the ground with these projects, and there are some concerns about immediate housing, uh, maybe infrastructure, spots in schools. Can you talk through some specific examples of what the city is doing to address the manpower that will be coming to Dresden? In different ways, we are um, uh, working on these topics. On the one hand, um, we are looking um, on uh, the school system. From the demography side, we get less uh, children, and so uh, for the capacity, we have enough from kindergarten to us. But we need special ones uh, for internationals. And so uh, that's the reason um, why we expand the international school. And um, we discussed with the whole region, built up um, new um, areas for residents. We are prepared for a lot of new international experts. What about projects on the sustainability side? So water, consumption, uh, waste, and then also particularly regarding the recycling and those we call sustainability measures that will be needed for the semiconductor fabs. Yeah, TSMC is also in this case, not only for, uh, from the production side, um, a front runner, it's also a front runner for sustainable development. And this was a, um, a focus from, uh, from the um, first meetings, how we can build up an infrastructure for the future, how we can use renewable energies, how we can reuse um, the water, 
and um, so how we uh, can organize less consumption of the natural resources. I think the whole cluster um, will get also some impact from the, from the, the new investment of these materials. After talking to the mayor, we also wanted to ask visitors and residents how they have reflected on the city's changes. I actually, from all the German cities, I, I think it is one of the top five cities to visit, three cities to visit probably. A lot of old people here, a lot of old tourism too. In the summer you have busloads of old people because of, you know, there's nice cafes and restaurants and just the, the river has a lot, there's a lot to see in Dresden, a lot of historic stuff to see. I was here two years before and it was more crowded, like more people was here. Yes, I agree. I was there two years ago and it was crowded and I think it's more chill and of course there are a lot of tourists, like uh, from Czech too, we also hear the language. There is a history of semiconductor and computer technology in Dresden too. So there's a little bit a, a mindset in the city and good um, training, I want to say, for for this type of industry, you know, chip production or, or computer production has always been here, right? But even during Eastern German times, they had like an electronic, I think most of the electronic businesses came from here. But uh, I mean, it is an old city, right? With an old mindset. And uh, what else can I say? It's a, it has changed a lot. When I walk through Dresden, I've, I'm rediscovering it every time I come myself. Yeah. Even though I lived here for almost 15 years. You know. Taiwan's efforts in cultivating talent was also a main focus in this year's Taiwan Europe Chip Innovation Forum in Dresden. Jianan Liu is the president of the Taiwan Semiconductor Research Institute, or TSRI, and he was here to open the forum. I started off asking him what his major takeaways were from the two-day event. Uh 跟那种光学的这些元件想办法把它整合在一起嘛先进封装其实也是一样的概念啊这个其实就告诉我们说你不会只是有一个人能够做完所有的事情其实一定是大家一起合作然后各自有各自的专场然后再把大家的专场整合
想要把这边做好啊、哦。但其实我就说，嗯，我我就说为什么我说有点看到新竹的影子，就是因为其实硬体的部分容易啦，这个其实呃。只要政府愿意投钱，然后买设备、盖厂房，这个其实相对都是容易的，啊。但是那个背后的人才，还有那个人才训练的那个系统，要怎么样把它做起来？其实这个才是我们看到比较大的问题。If more Taiwanese semiconductor companies or semiconductor-related companies are going to relocate and build an ecosystem elsewhere, what are the potential? Mm, Cross-cultural issues or things that they might need to overcome. 但我是这样讲，有点以偏概全啦、啊。Mm-hmm. 可能也不是所有这个国家的人都是这样。但是其实，呃，普遍来说会感觉到，在欧洲这边，他们的工作态度比较是 work-life balance 的这样的一个概念。早期的台湾文化，因为呃，我说我们刚开，但半导体刚开始那个时代，确实我们台湾是比较穷一点，对啊，所以其实大家会很拼，就说这是这是我们唯一的机会，我们要好好把握，我们要好好的把这个东西做起来。所以那个时候的前辈，一天做个十个小时、十二个小时，其实是很正常的事情。不过 ，anyway， 其实这个在欧洲会更严重，就是说他们。不不呃，他们不觉得他需要一直上班这样啊，但是我们的管理文化就是这样，所以就需要慢慢去调试。当然，我们现在有在改啦。其实像台积电现在，如果你去参观，他们现在很多都是用机械，就自动化的方式在做，就是它呃提尽量提高它的自动化的程度，好让你对人力的依赖不会那么的大。也就是说你。你不用二十四小时，人都要那么多人，那其实大家就轮流一下，就不会那么辛苦。这样。In 2024, TSRI held its first forum in Prague, a city just 90-minute drive from Dresden. What sparked that initial connection between the Czech capital and TSRI? 选杰克也是因为他们。他们有一定的基础，其实他们在这些基础的物理或者是材料等等这个方面的研究是，呃，非常深厚的。那他们自己其实也有一点点汽车的产业，所以表示说他们工业有一定的基础，他们只是不知道怎么跨境半导体来。所以就是说，相对其他国家来讲，它，呃，它的动力比较强，我们就。那时候一开始是试着在捷克这边也开课，我们那时候真的还从我们 TSI 跟台湾这边找了一些老师，找了我们的工程师过来开课，这样，对啊，但是就觉得这样子很累啊，对 ，effort 太大了。那所以我们现在其实换成另外一种方式，就是说我们嗯我们在台湾这边开课，好，然后我们让欧洲的学生。可以来上一个可能一个礼拜、两个礼拜的这样的一个课程。Thank you for watching this special series of Zoom in, Zoom out, reporting from Dresden, Germany. You can find more stories from Taiwan Plus news by following us on social media or downloading the Taiwan Plus news app. We hope you enjoy the show. Until next time. For more stories from Taiwan and how an old city like Dresden is embracing new technology development, download the Taiwan Plus app and follow us on social media.